This video shows how to synchronize your Visual Studio Code files, which is available for uh, multiple platform platforms, uh, with your uh, Azure DevOps system. So first you do the following, you go to your DevOps uh, Azure system. Now oh, this is my dev, okay. Uh, you go to your synchronization project. In this case, it's uh, my small test project. And then you say, uh, here you go to your repos. And in the repos, you say, okay, uh, I want a new uh, a new repository. So this is my, uh, we give it a name. We say, okay, this is my synchronization or my code, code zero one. And you may say also that you may uh, include a readme file there. And now you say create. And all what you have to do now is you go there to clone. Here, yeah, that's on the top block. Now you say clone and clone in with uh, VS Code. You're going there. I see an uh, opening dialog. You say open Visual Studio Code. Now it comes up this big block there. And there comes up a, a file dialog, a folder dialog. Now you're going there and say, okay, this is my, where are my projects? So I say, okay, this is my, uh, in this case, my demo, my uh, VS code, VS code stuff. <coughs> Se select this um, location, this one and this one is the same. Now, whenever you go there and say, okay, here is a new file. Let's say there's a file and you call it my new test file. My new test file at 1718. Um, are you embedded there? Now, what you have to do is you go into that folder and now with the right mouse key, you go there, open with code. So VS code. Going there now, everything is synchronized in this folder. This folder and this folder is the same. And as you see, there's already in green my new test file. So when I go there and say, okay, I, this is my first, my first uh, edit file with uh, some changings. Now you go there to your synchronized stuff. So push it. Now it's synchronizing. And when you go now to your uh, to your repository, now you will see there should be here uh, your edited file, created readme file files. Maybe I didn't check it in. Let's say this is now on the left side. This is on the right side. I first have to check that in here with this commit signal, and then I have to synchronize it and show it again. Now it's pushing the new file up. And now when we go to our uh, files, then you will see there's a new file in there. So this was how to synchronize Visual Studio Code with your uh, Azure DevOps uh, project repository.